Okay, I record this video. It's Friday, 17th of February, 2017, and it is just coming up to you know, a couple of minutes away from 1 p.m. Uh, Chicago time. And I'm in a trade at the moment. Been in this trade for a good long time, and uh, after the 11 a.m. window shut, I took this trade, kind of going long, 41 and a quarter, and we're up at uh, well, we were just at 42 and a quarter a second ago. And I think this is kind of an interesting uh, day. Look at the system uh, view, 500 tip bar chart. Uh, this was the open of the day. We had some weakness kind of overnight. And then we came into a bunch of supports down here, pull back to end of trend on the lowest time frame, intermediate time frame, and the highest time frame here, all syncing up together. And I can show you that there. So early signal on the lowest time frame, then the intermediate time frame, and then the highest time frame there. And we go into uh, some strength and we just peter out. We just can't get anywhere. We kind of uh, have a Rambo pattern here close to the highs. Amateur's expecting a breakout at this point and we just roll over with a lack of buying. Just no kind of commitment. And so we fall off into this downtrend and this was a really nice move here. Um, Amateur's kind of wrong footed at this point here as we can't get through resistance on these two uh, time frames and then bang we sink. I was uh, short at 40 even uh, into that move as we got breaking through the lows of these blue professional bars but it didn't travel, didn't go anywhere um, so I got out with a quarter point loss at 40 and a quarter when we reversed kind of back to this point here because it looked a little strange. Uh, we had a whole bunch of supports kind of come in, uh, lowest time frame, intermediate, highest time frame. We had an exhaustion, sell and bullish divergence and that was very close to the zero line so I'm always kind of wary of those. So that was like a spike down clearing everybody out. Uh, this exhaustion sell was basically showing the weakness here, the strength of the selling and then this is kind of clearing everybody out so everybody got short here was kind of picking it up here. So uh, what do we do? We went for a nice little rally to the upside and then we got kind of stuck in this zone here where we've had amateur down bars um, on the lowest time frames on the 500 tip bar chart. chart. You can see these are Rambo patterns here. Amateurs wanting to short it, wanting to short it. And we are now sitting underneath uh, double resistance on uh, lowest and intermediate time frame just up here, 42.75 and blue professional bars here on this little, there's quite a lot of activity around here on this, seemingly on the retrace, but um, it's kind of uh, problematic and it's actually generated a blue professional bar on the 4500 tip bar chart as we're approaching some kind of cyclical resistance at some point here. So here you, see, you can see a whole bunch here. That, uh, I'm guessing, is a little uh, gathering pattern, a little family of blue professional bars the high here is 43 and a quarter for the day and so around there you know within a half point one and a half points of that level we got a whole bunch of stops kind of sitting there so what I'm waiting for is taking its time uh, is uh, a jam past resistance on these two time frames bang bang that that little gathering all those blue professional bars I know we've had an exhaustion buy and they were kind of anxious to get this thing going and it looks like <coughs> you know just like this blue professional spiky bar they were kind of buying the lows and then it's a bit of a u-turn with that next blue professional bar where we go through the highs this one you're thinking well are they taking profits up here what's kind of going on it's like you know if they bought down here and got out up here that's a something it's not a huge move but it's a decent move uh, but no uh, that is most likely a gathering uh, just waiting for a spike above 43 and this will propel us into uh, kind of the next move forward. So uh, on system view, uh, it's showing continued strength. You know, this caused us a flush pattern here with this selling. That was quite severe selling here, but it was, remember on the 500 tip bar chart, those were Rambo patterns. That's amateurs kind of getting short at this point and uh, we're still kind of holding up and about to hopefully bust through these levels and just uh, propel us to a decent ranging day. Um, today's uh, This week's been good for range but uh, today so far I don't know I think we've got six points or something like that 37 to 43 so uh, not even. Um, so 
that's too small. We're going to go for like an 8 or a 10 point day. So my guess is we'll bust through 43s and just see where that goes. But it's uh, taking its time, having a good think about it. So uh, just got to hold on and just uh, wait for that. Uh, my target, I've actually pushed out 47 and a quarter. Let's see, you know, that's what I'm uh, hoping is going to happen. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Right, here we go. We're starting the stop run. We just bust up through resistance on a couple of time frames. And there we go. So double break. And what have we we just made it to 43.50. So this high is 43 uh, and a quarter. So the stops are sitting at about 43, yeah, 75. 43.40 kind of around there. Um, there might be an initial s set of stops at 43 and a quarter and maybe that's what we just hit and kind of just generated this. But a um, little bit of backward and forward always kind of happens at previous highs or lows. We just kind of mess with it for a little bit. This I'm hoping once we get back up to 43 and a half, we'll just go a little bit uh, crazy and get us uh, a decent kind of lift off. So slow day today. So what is it? 1:18 p.m. Chicago time. So I was recording that video 20 minutes ago. We were just sat in this uh, range, just doing nothing and nothing and nothing. But I was just trying to catch this uh, little stop run, just uh, to illustrate the point. So let's just keep watching. Well, it wasn't a classic stop run. Um, it's just been a slow kind of grind, up to 44 even. Sometimes you just get this kind of acceleration where all of a, all of a sudden all those stops just get triggered and. Poof, Causes like a cascading up, um, but not not so far. Um, and that's the zone that they should be kind of sitting in, you know, within a point of that uh, previous high. But anyway, so you can see um, that little gathering pattern kind of got resolved with a break up through resistance, and it kind of generated a little double uh, blue freshman bars on 4500. System-wise, I know we've got this exhaustion buy, but that's kind of getting us going. It's like busting us out of the channel. Um, so that's not kind of blow-off activity uh, here on, on this kind of shoulder here. And that's what's generated that uh, bearish divergence pattern. So we're kind of slinking back, not uh, you know, not, not powering ahead uh, strongly. But uh, that's okay. It's just a grinding day, so we'll hope for that grind. Uh, 47 and a quarter is where my target's sitting, and what is this high? Uh, 47 and a half. Well, it's kind of stretched uh, out there, because I was hoping that this would kind of, uh, you know, go a little bit exponential. So let's kind of hold on, holding on to, uh, we get another kind of exhaustion pattern, or we'll pull back end of trends on the low or the intermediate. Uh, maybe another blue freshener bar on 4500 on the way up. That's the kind of thing ought to be looking for for targets. So let's just hold. All right, we just got to uh, 45 and a quarter. Gardener's outside making a little bit of a noise, if you can hear that. Uh, 1.50 p.m. Chicago time. some point we'll get sickle re resistance kind of plot here, but not yet. But uh, we'll kind of just continue to break up. System's still good. It's kind of a flush pattern, but that flush is kind of based off this breakout volume. Um, so seven and a quarter is where my target's at. I know it's just slow, slow grow going and grinding up. But next thing I should be looking for is kind of blue professional up bars to see where the professionals on the 1500 tip bar chart are at least starting to think about kind of taking profits. But uh, this number is 47.50. That's that high there. Uh, what was kind of the closing number? Yeah, about 46 was the closing number yesterday. So that's going to be an interesting level when we get to it, hopefully shortly. Anyway, still holding long. 
Alright, so we had a little bit of weakness. Blue first number, first one on 1500 come in since the uh, gathering pattern, and one on 4500. Um, and that's up here. I know we just got kind of flush patterns kind of going on up there. No exhaustion signals yet, even on the 500 tip bar chart. So a little bit of weakness with that profit taking. Supports kind of come in, and we're running pullback to a trend on the 500 tip bar chart. So I've brought in my target to 45 and 3 quarters and I'm hoping that on the next little kind of uh, push test whatever up here at this level that we just uh, bust through and get taken out on that. Um, cyclical resistance is going to print on this 4500 uh, tip bar chart. That will be a pullback to end of trend syncing up with cyclical resistance here. Who knows it's going to go further but it's 2.02pm uh, 2 .02 PM Chicago time so we've only got an hour or so to run for the end of the day. And I've been in this trade since uh, 7 05 a.m. That's my local time, and it's now 10 02, so three hours. <laughs> that's just showing how slow it is just to get uh, to uh, four plus kind of points. Anyway, them's the breaks. So let's just hope to be taken out on this next little push above. Yeah, I just come out 45 and a quarter for four. Um, I'd put my target out to uh, 4575 up here, but uh, the end of trend kind of went off here and seemed like there was a lot of volume kind of coming in there at selling at uh, 45 and a half. Anyways, that's good. Uh, gathering pattern to uh, kind of a blow off uh, move. So you can see all the blue fresh bars coming in towards the uh, end of the day. System view is um, still, what am I, come on, there we go, still showing strength, that's just an early under trend, still going to go pull back under trend on the intermediate time frame, but um, yeah, that's that kind of profit taking happening at the moment, anyway, not too bad, and so here we are at the end of the day, and we're up at the uh, 47s, 48s, so my stretch target would have worked out, I'm always taking profits too early, but uh, here's the exhaustion buy on the 1500 tip bar chart, so that was what bottom us and uh, bullish divergence kind of got this thing going. We flushed out the sellers. This was the exhaustion volume getting us through out of this channel into the next trending move. And then there's the exhaustion by uh, taking profits at the end of the day. All those blue professional bars kind of up there on the 500 tip bar chart. I was getting out here and we kept on running and running up to the 47s, 48s. And the system kept us in long the whole way. Blue, um, red bars showing strength, there's the exhaustion by getting the move going and there's the exhaustion by uh, ending the move. So, uh, lesson learned uh, for me, taking profits too early, getting kind of scared out of trades, but um, I don't know, it's just something I find, uh, I like taking profits. <laughs> anyway, hope your trading went well today.